Okay, before my demonstration, I have an announcement. Uh, this coming Friday and Saturday, December 15 and 16, uh, we have a sale at Sunnyvale Community Center, and you are welcome to come and take a look. And also on Saturday uh, from 11 to 1 p.m., uh, I will do a demo, and hope you will be there to see the demo. Since the, this is very small, so I'm just going to use a small amount of clay. And for the small pieces, Usually it's the, uh, just the uh, finger tips work. And you can see that I'm just lifting the clay wall with my uh, finger tips. gets thinner I'm ready to shape it and I usually for a very small one I use a use usually use a small uh, rubber rib so that I could bend it and a small one versus the uh, metal one because metal one I uh, it's hard to bend it and also it's very big so I cannot cover the hole it's gonna be a uh, hidden the base, so I use the smaller one. And clean up the uh, inside. Just clean up the the rim with a. Uh, people ask me what is this. Uh, this is a little uh, uh, material. Usually, uh, if you have a bed and the bed is loose, uh, people usually use the material to go underneath of the um, the bed so that uh, it create more friction so your bed doesn't move. Uh, People call it a bed gripper, so your bed will be a uh, uh, stay stable while you're throwing. Um, it's the same material, so you can just uh, cut a portion of it. Um, I got this free uh, from the uh, clay conference, so I don't know if they might sell in it. It's a wheezy, a wheezy wick tools, so you might want to check it out. And it's a very good material. Uh, 
you just uh, compress it here, you wrap around the rim. And it's easy to get your rim smooth. So it's very useful uh, tool for uh, making the uh, rim a little bit uh, nicer. Um, after that, uh, I'm ready to uh, cut it off. I usually put my finger there to uh, draw a small indent. Uh, or if you are worried about uh, not having it straight, you can use a uh, wooden knife. So you cut a small indent there, so that it will help when you are using the string. This is the uh, cutting string. Um, you can insert right there. Insert so you insert it and while the wheel is spinning and uh, you can just pull with your right hand and you can cut. It's very easy to do. So the wheel is spinning and let go of your left hand and you just pull. Um, make sure that uh, after you cut it you can stop the wheel if you're worried about it fall off from the hum so you can stop the wheel right away and let's cut let me make another one real quick so I squeezed up the uh, small amount of a clay so just focus on the very top part is centered versus the other part the base is not centered so it doesn't matter you just focus on here just using my thumb and the finger to pinch it and while I'm pinching it up I put my finger there to compress the ring so the rim stays controlled. string uh, this string it's um, it's you don't want to use the short string that is too thick so I use the thinner one is easier and you after you cut 
the surface will be more flat versus if you use a thin, thicker one. So I just basically tied it here and hold it and then I insert my string right there, right by the mark and then let go of my left hand and I pull. And once it's off, I stop the wheel. And I can pick it up easily. So that's the uh, throw up the hump, and then now I will wait till it gets the leather hot, and then show you how I trim it. So after dry, it, um, I'm ready to trim. And I usually use water to stick my little objects in the wheel head. my number two trimming tool which is smaller So all my tools, all the edges have been beveled and sharp. So for the little one here, this part here is very small. So I can use the tip of my trimming tool to cut through. And then I'm um, just using my stamp to, uh, to put my name on the foot. This is very uh, small stamp, so I just fit right there. Even the foot is very small.
this is the uh, small cup uh, could be a, a tea cup or Chinese tea or a, a sake cup small one okay thanks for watching